X-Plane 11, while stock, can prove to be quite a competent simulation experience, providing many things in the base sim that would not require you to get add-ons. However, there are ways to improve the flying experience and add on to it further using plugins and add-ons. Today, I wanted to explore some of those add-ons that I find add a lot to the X-Plane 11 experience. There will be a mix of freeware and payware, but I will separate the payware from the freeware and rest assured the majority of the plugins and add-ons here are freeware. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. FS Economy is a career slash economy add-on for X-Plane 11 and various other simulators. It provides a game world in which you can purchase, rent, or lease aircraft to be used in assignments that provide you with income. It allows you to have a sense of purpose within the simulation world as it gives you a reason to fly from one airport to another. The application itself is quite outdated nowadays, with the airports sometimes being so out of date that they don't exist within X-11, but the majority of airports are still there and you shouldn't have too much of a problem finding them. There are other options available, but this one is free and provides a much more online experience where something such as selling aircraft is done by selling it to another real world player. FS Economy is free and can be found on their official website which is linked down below and I can highly recommend it. XRAS is an add-on made to simulate the runway awareness and advisory system given the abbreviation of RAS. It provides you with a higher level of awareness by notifying you about specific information like how much runway you have left on your takeoff roll, if you are landing long, and how much runway length you have left upon touchdown. This system in combination with GPWS systems will provide you with a much better awareness of your surroundings and make it easier for you to manage your flight overall it to be safe and it adds just a tiny bit more immersion into the simulator as it comes with many different options to allow you to configure your RAS the way you like it. You can enable it on any aircraft you want or make it so that it ignores aircraft with less weight and only activate on aircraft that are heavier or in the right weight category. It is available from Totorico's GitHub page for free. Terrain Radar is an add-on that allows for the use of a more integrated terrain radar in aircraft such as the Zebo mod and many of the default X-Plane 11 aircraft. It also provides the use of a vertical situation display, which is used extensively in the Zebo mod for X-Plane 11. It adds a lot more realism into the simulator and makes flying into airports that have a lot of terrain easier, especially at night, as you are able to clearly see the terrain on your ND or in the separate pop-up window. I can highly recommend you download it, especially if you are using the Zebo mod for X-Plane 11, as it integrates beautifully with the Zebo mod. You can find this add-on on the xplane.org forums from Dr. Gluck. Avitab is essentially a godsend for people who only have a single monitor. It allows you to display a lot of relevant information that you need for your flight within one useful tablet. You can display things like charts, manuals, a moving map, airport information, and much more. It also includes integration with some aircraft like the Zebo mod, the TOLIS, and many other aircraft making it super immersive to use as if it was an EFB that you had packed along for the flight. It also has integration available for Navigraph charts. If you are someone who uses a single monitor for all their flight simulation, then this is a definite must to have make your life easier so that you can see the relevant information you need for your flight without having to go back to the desktop and doing it from there. It also contains VR compatibility, meaning you can view documents, charts, and much more through your VR headset without having to go out of the simulator. Every tab can be found on the xplain.org forums from Folco. Better Pushback strives to make the pushback system in x 11 much more realistic by introducing a new, unique way of doing pushbacks in a flight simulator. It allows you to first select a plan of how the pushback is going to be executed, then goes through the procedure of lifting the aircraft and getting it pushed back in a realistic manner as if you were talking to the ground crew and they were talking to you like requesting you to set and release the parking brake and giving you the signal when they are finished and what side it will be on. It is an excellent add-on, especially for people who fly airliners and want to focus on aircraft preparation, like starting engines, rather than focusing on the pushback intently and manually telling it where to stop turning. Better pushback can be found on Totorico's GitHub page. 
Simple Ground Service is a Lua script available for X-Plane 11. It allows you to add ground services to your aircraft while you are parked at the gate to allow for more realism and immersion within your simulator. You can choose what ground services you want and have some pre-made profiles that will automatically put vehicles in the correct spot and time based on whether that door is open or not, such as the cargo loaders. It also has an option of either using a gate configuration or a stair configuration, depending on if you want to be at the gate or if you're going to be at a ramp instead. You can also edit the positions to line them up more where you want them to be, allowing you to create profiles for aircraft that may not have a pre-built profile already. It is a very lightweight plugin and really powerful, and I can highly recommend it to anyone if static ground services are something you want when you are flying in X-Plane 11. It can be found on the xplane.org forums for free. Ortho4xplane is a scenery application that allows you to generate photorealistic orthophoto scenery for X-Plane 11. The scenery it generates looks stunning when you have the settings dialed in right and choose a good imagery provider. It can also add a lot more realism to the scenery on the ground, depending on what source you use. This application can take quite a while to get set up correctly, and generating tiles can be a tedious process, as each can take anywhere from 5 minutes to an hour or more depending on a variety of factors like zoom level. It also takes up quite a lot of space on your hard drive, as something like the entirety of the United States in zoom level 16 can take up to 1 terabyte or more, but it is well worth it for areas you fly quite frequently too. There also are many free orthophoto packs available, such as VStates, which is made by Vertical Sim, or Forkboy's US Orthophoto. I can highly recommend you try Ortho for X-Plane if you got the time and storage space available. I will leave links to the original application for generating your own ortho photos and some pre-made ones that you might want to give a try. With the freeware out of the way, let's go ahead and look at the few payware add-ons I find are quite an addition to X-Plane 11. Navigraph FMS Data and Charts is a subscription-based service available from Navigraph that provides up-to-date FMS data and IFR charts from Jeppesen. I've personally found it quite handy to have as it allows me to pull up any kind of chart that I would need very easily and has a wide variety of charts available for all different types of airports due to the nature of the data being provided by Jeppesen. The FMS data is quite useful as it is highly recommended to have an up-to-date FMS data for things like VATSIM. The charts are also super handy for flying on a virtual network as it means you will be able to follow any procedures very easily and can easily pull up the correct chart when you need it, adding to the convenience factor of this product. While you can get charts for free, having them congregated in one spot makes it so much easier and faster, which is why I can recommend the subscription service. It can be found on Navigraph's site for 74.9 euros a year, however they have monthly options available and a separate option that only provides the FMS data. Enhanced Skyscapes brings to x 11 the feature of volumetric clouds, something that many simulators are now bringing to the table. It makes the clouds look significantly better and improves the rendering of the skybox with new sky colors and lighting effects. If you have been playing something like Microsoft Flight Simulator and wanted to get back into X-Plane with some new clouds, this is a perfect option as it is cheap yet very effective at what it does. It is also still getting updates from the developer who is continuing to improve the product in every way that they can. Enhanced Skyscapes can be found on the Threshold Store for 15 US dollars. Active Sky XP is a weather injection system for X-Plane 11. It uses its own weather injection system to inject realistic weather into X-Plane 11, allowing for a much more accurate depiction of the weather in the simulator. It also provides a weather interpolation system that can provide more accurate weather for airports that may not have MATAR-based systems installed to monitor the weather and updates on an hourly basis. This makes an experience of flying much more realistic as the weather conforms much better with the MATAR. It also provides many features within the applet such as checking the conditions at airports, adding a flight plan to see weather along the way, searching for specific types of weather at specific airports, and much more. I can highly recommend that you get Active Sky XP if you are looking to improve the weather in X Plane 11. It can be found on various storefronts for around the 36 euro mark. 
An alternative to ActiveSky XP is available that is totally free but does not provide the same level of functionality as ActiveSky XP. It is known as XP NOA Weather. It provides more reliable weather than the default weather available from X-Plane 11 in terms of its injection, and it has multiple sources such as NOAA, IVEO, or VATSIM weather. This can make it much easier to fly on the two respective networks, as if you don't have a payware weather add-on, you can easily still match the weather to what the network is reporting and be able to land without any issues whatsoever. It also has an interface in the simulator that you can use to control the plugin with, and it is of course totally free. It can be found on Joan PC's website and is available for download. That concludes this video. Now with x at 12 around the corner, some of these add-ons and plugins, especially the paid ones, may not seem like worthwhile investments, but in my opinion, I think they are highly worth it if you're going to be doing simulation in x 11 right now. X-Plane 12 is still in the works and may take a while to come out, so you may end up waiting a long time before you can get back into simming and the developers of these add-ons will hopefully want to update their add-ons for X-Plane 12. Some might be a bit interesting to see, like X Active Sky XP, as X-Plane 12 looks to bring a new weather engine and hopefully Hi-Fi SimTech can adapt their application for use within X-Plane 12. It is up to you to decide whether or not you want to buy paid add-ons for x 11, as Navigraph Charts and FMS Data is the only one that is confirmed to carry through to the new simulator. x 12 and Laminar Research specifically are working to try and make all add-ons compatible with x 12, however some developers may have to put some extra development effort into it and may charge upgrades for x 12. This is going to be determined by those developers, so please do follow their specific news outlets so that you can get this information as soon as you can. Anyways, I thank you all for watching this video and as always, have yourself a good one.